everybody and welcome to Dolls and Sets Online. My name is Ashley and today is another Fempreneur Series video. So today I'm going to do something I think I promised you all a while ago. I'm going to show you where you can get uh, basically graphics um, and vectors and things like that to use on like your logo or your website or your flyers, whatever that you want to use it on um, that you will not be infringing upon copyright laws. So yeah, I'm going to tell you places where you can get images like that. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely stay tuned. Check out my previous videos where I tell you all about other things involving your business, how to grind and hustle and stay on top, sis. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, the first website we're going to look at is a place you can get some free images to use in your um, flyers, your business cards, whatever you want to use them for on your website it says it has thousands of royalty free images that's what you want is royalty free images there's different ways to say that but yeah basically it's free for commercial use um meaning that you're going to be making a profit off of it but you don't have to pay them to make a profit off of it. whoever took the picture um they don't get any royalties from you using it you know the image so i've been on here before so it's suggesting some stuff that i probably would like so I'm going to look up makeup so you guys can see some of the stuff that they have available great images you know high quality look at that beautiful beautiful you can do all types of stuff with this you may even see some of these images on here that you've seen on Canva if you use Canva or if you seen my previous video because like this image I believe was on there um they overlap I mean it's a limited supply I guess you could say of um royalty free images so it's going to be some overlapping of good ones anyway but I mean just look at this high quality like just imagine all the stuff that you could do with these images so this is pexels.com P X E L S and let's go to beauty. I mean, come on now. I'm giving y'all great resources. Like, all you have to do is watch the videos and you can get all types of great information. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next website. The next one we're going to go to is Pixabay. So this is the same thing. You get high quality um, images without having to pay for them or being having to get like a license to use them. So let's look up the same thing on here. Oops. Let's look up makeup. Scroll past all the ads because they are not free images, but then you get to um, the free images down here. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. You can't do something with these photos. Like, come on. Come on. <laughs> yes. Let's say I wanted this one. Okay, I click on it. And then I just go right here. Free download. It's free for commercial use. You don't have to attribute anybody saying, hey, I got this picture from this person. This person made that. I got it from this website. You don't have to do any of that. You just download the picture and begin to use it. And this is Pixabay. So definitely check them out. Um, great images. Look at that. That would be perfect for me right there during the holidays. I may use that one. Who knows? So, um... Let me just go ahead and show you. When you click free download, it's going to ask you what quality do you want the picture in. Let's say I want the highest quality. Oh, I don't feel like signing in. Do I have to sign in? Okay. I only have to sign in for that, uh, that highest quality one. So since I'm not wanting to sign in right now, I'm just going to go ahead and do the next one down, which is still high quality. It's not going to have a problem using it. Go ahead and download it. So it asks you um, what resolution do you want it in when you click free download. So this is 
how many pixels per inch that there is in the image. The bigger the number is, the more pixel it is per inch, which means the higher quality it is. So um, if you don't know anything about graphics, there you go, or images. Um, as you can see right here, it says you can donate to the person who added the image, but you don't have to credit them. You can link back if you would like. You don't have to. Um, but it you know it helps the artist gain exposure and they give you what you can use it has the links and the text or whatever built into this to attribute back to them but you don't have to do that but this is pixabay.com great images moving on to the next one that i'm going to provide you tonight or this morning actually this is unsplash.com so it's the same thing it's just photos on here let's scroll down a little bit and see i don't want to just limit y'all to makeup but you know what business i'm in so yeah what do you expect oh that is a beautiful photo i took a photo some beautiful photos of um some snowy mountains and i just love them but that was a really beautiful photo but anyway so we're gonna go ahead and go make up See what they have. Oh, I love it. Look at it. Mm-hmm. We could definitely do something with this. And if you say you couldn't, then you're crazy. Beautiful high quality photos, y'all. Don't sleep on these websites. I'm trying to I'm giving you the thesis. I'm giving you the tape on where you can find what you need to do things on your own instead of having to come out of pocket. Yes. Who doesn't want to do that? Okay, so that's unsplash.com. Check it out. Moving on to the next one. So this one is freeimages.com. More images. Like, you should be able to find something you want off of these websites. Scroll past the ad, and here you go. These are images that you can use for free. Don't have to pay a dime. Somebody already did the hard work of capturing a great photo for you. Now, this one is further down the line on what I recommend because, um, as you can see, the images aren't on the same caliber as some of the other websites that we've already looked at but I mean you can find something on here for sure and you know but um yeah a lot more of uh just kind of looks like amateur photography I guess you could say on here than the other ones but this is freeimages.com so this is burst.shopify.com so on here let's do makeup okay and see what we have we definitely have some great resources on here too some potential so i want to look at flat lays i like doing flat lays if you haven't been on my um instagram glamolous g-l-a-m-o-l-o-u-s then um you don't know maybe but if you have been then you know i like to do flat lays and so this has some great stuff that you can use on here and i mean if you do youtube videos these places with the images are a great place to get um backgrounds and stuff like that too for like your thumbnail so yeah definitely check out burst.shopify.com as well has some great resources on there now I'm going to move on to a different kind of royalty free um, image style and these are vectors. Now vectors, if you don't know, is a graphic that is made up of lines and shapes and all that stuff. But it is something that you can scale to any size and it will not distort. When you're just using an image like a JPEG, a PNG, something like that. When you make it bigger, like you saw how they asked what resolution do you want to download the photo in. That's because, you know, if you go beyond the resolution that you chose, 
But if you go beyond that pixel per inch, it's going to start to distort. It's going to get blurry. You know, it's not going to be a high quality image anymore. But with a vector, because it's made up of shapes and lines and all of this, um, all these different things, you can size them to whatever size it is that you want. You can make a billboard size. When you're driving down the interstate, you look up at a billboard and it's crisp, clear, you know, high quality. That's because it's made with something like a vector or either at like, I mean, a really big resolution. But yeah, with vectors, you can make it big enough to go on a billboard. You can make it small enough to go on a penny. And it will it will look the same regardless of what you put it on, whatever size you have it, it will look the same. So vectors are extremely important to graphic designers. This is what they provide you when they give you an AI file. Illustrator file is Illustrator is used to make vectors. So this is what they're giving you. Something that has vectors in it where you can size it to any size that you want without it um, compromising the quality. So VecTZ dot com is a website where you can find some vectors and you don't have to attribute I mean you don't have to um, worry about you know paying to do so so I'm gonna put look up makeup on here I'm spilling the tea y'all I'm spilling the tea like <laughs> stop playing okay scroll down pass all that pro stuff okay now these are vectors that you can use Look at all this stuff. And when I'm saying, like, when you download this file, you can, depending on how they saved it, but if they saved it in the, ve in the true vector format, like, in the way that we're wanting it, that would be intended, you know, to upload it on this website, what you would be looking for when you download it, you can manipulate it however you want. So, say, like, if I download it, these um, lips if I wanted to go in here and edit it like make this not as plump or something like that like I can pull in that line and make it up here you know I could change the colors I could do anything that I wanted to this basically if it say if they uploaded it in a way that is preferred like what you would expect if you would download something from VecTZ. If you were downloading a vector, you would expect to be able to edit it in any way that you would want. So I mean vectors are amazing, y'all. Yeah, I need to get into vectors. If you're trying to do stuff on your own, you need to learn about that. Um instead of having to pay somebody else, you know, that's the type of stuff that you would need to know about. But great images, great vectors, I mean as you can see. All these logos, y'all went with the lips and biting the lips and licking. Not, I mean, there you go. You can get it for free. Make your own stuff. <sighs> with the pop-ups. Come on with the pop-ups. But yeah, so. Great stuff to choose from. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on. This was VecTZ. Now I'm going to go on to another vector website, which is FreePick. FreePick.com is the same thing. You can get vectors. So I'm going to look up makeup like we've been doing. Let me get out of this. This is all stuff that... Um, you can download and use and edit it how you see fit yeah when you're seeing all of that when you're seeing all those graphics and stuff that the graphic designers are doing using for you all to make your stuff yeah look at this y'all business cards y'all y'all in love with this little design right here like come on I'm trying to tell you I'm trying to put you up on game, y'all. Love these little type eyes right here. You can get them yourself, do them yourself. Now you will need something like Illustrator or some some kind of program where you can edit vectors. Now you do need that. So, um, but I mean, as much as people are rebranding and they want a different thing for this and a different graphic for that, you know, 
it's worth the money to go ahead and get you a vector editing program. And you probably, let me think, I'm trying to think really quickly. I haven't eaten, so I'm having a bit of a, a malnourished moment right now. But I'm trying to think if there's a website where you can edit vectors online like for free. You don't have to get a program. I can't think right now, but yeah, but it's also free pick you don't also you don't have to get vectors you can do photos uh you can do photoshop files you know icons all types of different stuff i'm just showing you um vectors for right now but go in here and play on these websites like i'm just spilling the look the tea a little bit you got to go in there and you know play around but yeah definitely good stuff good stuff okay so this is vectorstock.com and you can get vectors from here as well of course I want to look up makeup and I want it to be the free vectors. I don't want to look at all vectors. I just want to see the ones that are free to me. Okay, so here you are. And uh, surely you can find something on here you can use, build the logo with, you know, um, whatever. Okay, sis, so did you get some useful information out of this video? I sure hope so. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you didn't, please still comment, like, and subscribe because I will be coming out with some more videos. I'm not going to go ghost on y'all. I know I I've, I did that for a little bit, but I was grinding with my business, y'all. Y'all know how it gets working and having a um, business of your own, trying to get things out, doing all this research. It takes time, sis. So I apologize, I, but I am back and I'm trying to bring you guys content that I think you can use. Uh, please let me know in the comments anything else that you all would like to know, some video ideas, just questions that you have, and I will look at them and see what I can do for you all. But once again, my name is Ashley. You've been $2,000 online, and I will see you all in my next video.